So a lot of you guys asked me about a tutorial on how to make one of these games. It's gonna be a first person horror game, but you could apply the same process if you have a third person controller. We are going to use one of the built-in templates. You don't have to reinvent the wheel and create this controller. And this is gonna be our first tutorial. We are going to use one of these environments from the Unity Asset Store and add our uh, first person character. As you can see, we have these controls. I've already talked about it. And without any further ado, let's dive right in. For this project, I'm gonna use a first person controller by creating a new project. And under all templates, we can select different options like third person. For a horror game, I think the first person view is much better. Let's select it and give this project a name. Then I'm gonna put it on my desktop. And let's select the folder. If you are using the new release of Unity Hub, we have these options to connect it to Unity Cloud, but I don't want that. Let's create our project. And once it's done, you will see this project. It is called the first person template. Basically, it comes with a first person controller. Let's hit play. We're going to use this controller. Then we'll add some weapons and we're going to change the environment. We are going to download some assets from the Unity Asset Store by going to Window and Asset Store and let's search for something like Horror and I'm gonna filter it because I want the environment also I want some free assets I think this is gonna be okay it is called Hospital Horror Pack let's open it up to be able to import these packages or assets into your projects you have to log in with your Unity ID account and let's use this button Add to My Assets and Accept and select open in unity so that we can see the pack using the package manager it allows us to install some packages or some assets then we can hit download next we can select import and hit import again now we can close this window and check out the project files here we have a demo scene we can open it up you see that the materials are purple because uh, this project is using the universal render pipeline we need to upgrade the materials that comes with this pack. Under modules, we have materials. Let's select all of these or the purple ones. Then I'm gonna go to edit, rendering. And here we have the option to convert the selected materials to URP and hit proceed. And I think we have to change these as well. And go back to edit, rendering, materials and convert it. Once it's done, you will see this project. Let's go to the scene view. Here we can move and look around. I think it looks amazing for our project. Now we want to add the first person controller in this level. Later on, we will create our own levels. Let's go under prefabs. And here we have the player as well as the main camera. So we need to get rid of this one using delete. And here we have different options. You could drag the main camera, the player capsule, and the player follow object so that we can control our character inside this level or we can drag in this one basically it's an object that has all of these inside it let's drag it and put it on top and there you go also I want to move the player so that we can see it inside the level by changing the x y values you could also go to the game view and see the camera view then we can hit play and yep, we have a first person controller inside this hospital. It looks so scary. In our next videos, we are going to add some logic to our game, like some enemies. Also, we need to add crouching so that we can uh, pass through this obstacle. I hope you like this video. If you have any question or comment, make sure to write that under the comment section down below. And I will see you in the next one.